Uh, welcome everybody to uh, Northmead Reserve uh, on the uh, last round of State League for the 2023-24 season. Next to me in the commentary box is uh, President of Borkham Hills, um, Don Byliner. How are you, Don? Good, mate. How are you? I'm very, very well. A beautiful day you've organised here. Super day, isn't it? Absolutely glorious, mate. Absolutely Super day. glorious. And uh, the field is looking beautiful. Yeah, no, they, uh, we covered it up on... Jesus, what day did we come down? Wednesday night. Okay. So we put covered the up. covers on. Uh, so um, missed all of the rain. You kept all of the rain off it. Well, we did, yeah. Well, yeah, off the bases, of course. But it was a bit wet this morning. Okay. Um, when we pulled the tarps off. But obviously the sun sort of helped us and um, dried it all up. But uh, the bad news for the 18s is they're going to have to put them back on this afternoon. <laughs> is, that, is that bad news? Well, what for them it is. It's not for us because the field will be covered and hopefully we'll save it for tomorrow because well, I think the storm's predicted late this afternoon. So, Well, it's certainly looking a bit threatening so, out yeah, south yeah, there. But anyway. I'm just staring over the uh, over second base out to... Uh, I've learned over a long time, mate. There's nothing you can do about the weather. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it other than dance in the rain. That's I yeah, well, yeah, we've done that before. Yeah. But uh, we're here. This is the we are. first, this is, this uh, is the first, first yeah, day first of Lizzie it. McEwen. Yep. Pink Day, um, in memory of Lizzie McEwen, the wife of Gary McEwen, um, long-term Lizzie, family um, of Borco. Lizzie, uh, Lizzie tests us out every year, Gas. She's um, yeah. With the weather, I, I don't, I can't remember a time where we haven't had to sort of cover up and do this and do that to get this day on. So she just keeps us honest, which is really, really good. That's great, and it's uh, nice to see there's a uh, a beautiful pink. Kookaburra that uh, that Arthur Wright. Oh has, yeah, uh, yeah. Painted. They were talking about doing that. I thought yeah, they're they going to put a, a ribbon in the field, but um, maybe tomorrow they might do that. But yeah, anyway. we might see that. But uh, now the uh, the pink kookaburra and the pink bases look really good. The uh, the guys look uh, look great um, in the pink tops. Yeah, yeah it's year. good to see. Me, well, me and Melly have their own, st- own day do. anyway. But um, it's uh, it's good, good that they help. So we're just going to work out. Um, how to distinguish them, mate, because they're both in pink. They've well, got white numbers, we got pink numbers. They're, they're probably a lighter... A lighter shade of they pink. They've got white sleeves, we got pink sleeves, so yeah. shouldn't be too hard. No. All right, we're about to get underway here. Um, let's go around the diamond. We've got uh, Nick Sukins on the mound, throwing to Josh Nadai behind the plate. Over on first base is Kobe Cuspert. Second base is Matthew Courtney. Playing shortstop is Phoenix McFarland. Uh, playing third base is Max Miotto. Out in left field, I'm fairly sure that's... Who's that? Who's in left field? What did Courtney write down? It's Rory Kane? No, Rory hasn't been playing. Uh, yeah. McGregor. Oh, I was going to say McGregor. Riley McGregor. Shouldn't have second guess myself. Who's the centre field standing? Centre no, field right is field. Uh, Bastianen. Akira okay. Bastianen. Yeah, cool. And starting right field is uh, right. Lucas Stancic. Very good. We've got uh, Michael Bryan uh, behind the plate. Um, and Dustin. I can't remember Dustin's surname. Sorry, Dustin. Dustin. We'll just call him Dustin, mate. Dustin. Uh, Dustin over there on the, uh, on the bases. We're about to get underway. Dustin Stevens, I've just been informed. Dustin Stevens? Thanks, Told Andy. to get our act together, mate. Yeah. All right, so this, 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 this everyone, game everyone here. Vote for Andy Courtney, I reckon. What's, um, what's the situation? Mila in fourth spot, Bork are in second spot, correct? I believe so. I'm going to check that. Um, but uh, we've got Luke Donahay up at bat. He played first grade the other night. Um, ball up. So you've got, I think, Bork are in second spot by a beast. You know what? Wing. That's it. Wing. And Manly a fourth. But I think if um, if Manly beat us today and Ride happened to beat Greater Western, which I guess is... It's possible. The, well, I think it's more than but, possible. All right, we've got Borka. They, uh, they, they jump Borka Mills into second spot. But, yeah. So Borka Mills really got to win this game. Yeah. Borka are actually, uh, are actually sitting um, in first spot. Um, no, they can't be, mate. Cronulla would be... We, we'd be no, half no. a game behind Cronulla. Um, we've got eight, three, and one for a seven oh eight. There's, well, this is according to the state league stats. Oh, I did them through the week uh, on I team app. Didn't see that. And there's a uh, single yeah, into good it. left field. Let's 
single to left field. Uh, so I was, work, I was working out the percentages through the week, mate, and I believe that game changer doesn't take into account draws. I don't think it does no, either. No, no, I, I found only... out it doesn't. Let's have a look at the league. I'm just pulling that. Yeah, it looks like... See, this. that's weird. Because it's showing Borco on... Uh, Eight wins, three losses, and, Do you a, know why uh, that and, would a, be? and a draw. Cronulla would have got beaten this morning. By? Whoever they played. MacArthur, maybe? Yeah. Nine, f nine four, and 0 at Cronulla. Go, just, just go to the result. If, if that's the case, that's what's happened this morning. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Greater Western. Oh, uh, no, win 7-4. Cronulla had a win this morning. Throw over to keep uh, Luke a little bit honest. Yeah, Cronulla are nine and four. So any any reason why uh, Josh Nadai's catching? Is Caleb not well? Or I haven't heard. Um, probably just giving him a little bit of a break. Okay. He uh, he played uh, played the midweek game, caught the midweek game okay. um, against Manly. So you think he'd be able to back up on Taddy? Small heart. Huh? There's, there's a well, comment there about, about no time you get, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. But I wouldn't say that either. No, no, no. Certainly not a, not on something we're streaming. Josh King walks. Bringing Kane Flu up to uh, up to the plate. Runners on well, one. Mate of mine is a college coach in the states. Mm. He um, he was asking about this kid, and I couldn't find couldn't get any intel on him. Okay. So I can see first hand, mate. Turns to bunt. It's a strike. Probably a good spot to actually try and do a bunt. Luke's a uh, very perfect, speedy base no, runner. Perfect situation, mate. Better yeah. in the game, but still. It's a perfect Even situation. So, yeah. Runners on one and two. And... How's that one on top of the uh, batting tunnel? Yeah. Just, just missed on that one. Don't know where that missed, but anyway, don't know whether I'm allowed to say that, but I did. <laughs> and Kane drives on the back up the middle. A couple of, oh, oh, and a miss it's... by uh, Bastianen in centre field. Miss field there. Allows the runners to get uh, to get around to two and three, scoring a run.
Nick's having a little bit of trouble today. Looks like he's uh, not... Uh, Not a great deal of command there at the moment. Not right now, mate. No, you're dead right. There's a chopper, and that gets over the top, scoring another run. What you can do about that, like it's just nope. a bad hop, so. But, scores another run for Manly. Someone's phone. That's mine, mate. That's Don. That's all right. Oh. Just excuse Don while he takes the phone call. Call you later. Well, Manly ahead very early. There's popped up foul. Over behind us. I didn't hit it, hear it hit a car, so that's all right. This is Lachlan Ludbrook at bat. Very compact. Oh, through a gap. Wow. Through a gap. Goodness. Scores. Kane from third base. Manly jump out to a 3 0 lead with none out. Haven't had a chance for an out either, mate, to be honest with you. No. No, they've been uh, reasonable hits. So Manly dominant early. That's all you can yep. say there, Reggie. Well, uh, the boys have got it in them to... Uh, They're going to have to have it in them, mate. <laughs> ...to really bring this back. Just do some sensible at-bats. Got Connor Clark in for Manly now. Jams Connor fouls that one off. Quite a hot day here at the moment too. It's 32 yeah, degrees, yeah. quite humid. Seems hotter than that though. Yeah. But you're right, it is hot. Got to thank the bloke who bought the uh, fan though. <laughs> I don't <did> see that. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for the fan, Andy. It's very good. Just blowing a little breeze across here, it's actually really quite nice. So will it be here tomorrow? The fan? I think it should be. One away. And one away. We get a strike out there. So we'll have wind blowing out of that and wind blowing out of Courtney. Hot air. Hot air, of hot course. Air, hot air and cold air. Yeah. Yes, no. Oh, he's got him shaking his head in. I tell you what, I wish I had a camera. <laughs> he's drinking a Slurpee. Well, oh, I don't know what's in it, do you? Slurpy. Slurpy. Okay. Tries. Oh, no. Uh, Josh Nadeau's thrown it up and over first base. Tries for the back pick. To me, to me, the lowest percentage playing baseball. Other than, I reckon, a pitcher trying to pick off the third. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even trying to backdoor someone on the third is probably not, yeah. not good either. But anyway, yeah. it certainly puts Manly in a position to score another run with one dead. It does. The uh, infield's come in, trying to cut that run off. Kobe certainly did try and get off the ground to, uh, to catch that ball. I'm trying to pick up the count. I'm pretty sure it's two balls. Yeah. yeah. 
Swing through that one. Strikes out swinging. I must have missed a strike in there. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, yeah, obviously we did, mate. <laughs> Georgie, I believe they girls in the canteen sold out of, sold all pink merchandise today all of it all of it, all of it gone I've, well if you I haven't organised your uh, yeah, pink merchandise for stuff tomorrow too bad that, really, yeah. which is great mate which is great for the cause but um, yeah amazing it's sort of something you just can't can't predict yeah That's all he's got to throw him. Yep. He's got himself into a bit of a rhythm here. Let's see if he can push push this one past him. Side away. And side so away. They, well, yeah, okay. So three away. So they've got a bit of chasing to do to Borko, eh, boys. So we'll be back. Stepped out, and uh, Andy Courtney has kindly stepped into uh, the commentary position. How are you, Steve? I'm good, Andy. How are you? Good. Uh, Phoenix McFarlane leads this inning off for Borkham Hills on deck. Um, Kobe Cuspert. On the mound for Manly is Zach Morris. Played in the New South Wales Under 18 squad this year. And uh, in the battery with him is uh, Ludbrook. Going around the diamond, we've got uh, Egan at first, Patterson at second, Donahay at short, Flu at third base, patrolling the outfield. Adahi, King and Clark. Phoenix puts that one on the ground to shortstop. That's Donahue over there at shortstop, made a is. great play across to Egan. And uh, Borka Mills are one out. Brings up the left-handed hitting first baseman, Kobe Cuspert. Son of the great Craig Cuspert. Yes. Craig and uh, Samantha? Yes. Yeah, yeah, good guess. Eldest of the two Cuspert boys. 
Earl Morris starts him off with a bit of an MC hammer in the dirt. Cuss, but fouls that one off. It's, oh, it's, it's saying playable. fair, it's playable. Oh, he's dropped uh, it. And he made a very good oh, effort. Good effort by Ludbrook, but... Uh, Just popped out of the mid. No cigar. No cigar. I wonder how many people, young guys, who are watching actually understand what that, uh, that quote actually is. Close, but no cigar. Interesting to find the uh, the history of that. That it would be, Stephen. Hey, the count's even on Cuspert is one and one, and Morris winds up and it's ball up. deals uh, with a hangs a high curveball way up out of the zone. Cuspert uh, all counts even at two now. No, it's actually wrong. It's the wrong. The guy, the guy oh. controlling the scoreboard doesn't know what's going on. That's you, is it, That's Steve? Me. Cuspert drives one up the middle. Gets himself on with a Lara Bingle. And in the words of um, Glenn Shorrock from the Little Ripper Band, help is on its way, and here it is. Josh Nadoy steps into the box. I like your little scorebook that you've got, got here, Andy. I don't know if... Uh And uh, uh, viewers, just, just so you know, there's a, a great scorebook. He starts uh, young Nadoy off with a uh, bit of a breaking ball that's in for a strike. On deck for Borkham Hills, uh, third baseman Max Mioto. One out here in the bottom of the first. And, uh, Another off speed pitch there. Yeah, in the dirt. Natalie looking uh, very pretty in pink. Stephen? Old oh, 1980s. Oh, yes. Rat Pack. Rat Pack? No, yeah, that's yeah. not the Rat Pack. Pretty in pink. Rat, rat yeah. Pack was, uh, was older than that. Oh, uh, Natoy just not catching up on that fastball for Morris. Puts it in for strike two. Stinking hot day here at Northmead, Stephen. Is, yeah, I was talking to Donnie about that. It's, I, I think the humidity's up quite a lot too, actually. As, you know, we were talking about looking at the weather out south. It's very cloudy. And uh, the humidity is certainly making, it, making itself known. The player comfort meter would be off the Richter scale, oh, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, let's have a look at the player comfort meter, actually. I think the exact words here are, yeah, it's stinking hot. All right, it Morris just checking in at Cuspert over on first base. Morris steals fastball. Natoy uh, chops at that one, fouls high. it up, and it's uh, a foul ball, and Natoy remains in the box. Gets another life. Yeah, 33 degrees, or at least my app is saying it's 33 degrees, and uh, quite humid, making it feel a number of degrees hotter. Tap that one. Easy That'll pick up it. Chops that over to uh, Egan at first base, who makes the force at first. Uh, so that always uh, advanced. Uh, cusp Cuspid over to second yep. with that uh, hit into a fielder's choice. Brings the third baseman, Max. Uh, we have Lucas Stanzik, the left fielder. Left fielder, right fielder. Right fielder today. Right fielder Starting today. right fielder today. Oh, we've got time and they're having a little chat. with quite a job to do here to uh, at least try and bring the lead down a little bit. Morris steals. Come 
Base hit will score a run here with uh, two out. I'm sure that uh, Cuspert will be on his bike off the crack of the bat. Max lays off that one that was belt high, called for a ball by uh, Michael Bryan. Very patient, very patient, Max. That one that's gone foul. Off to the right. Well, pink day here at Borg Mills. Both teams wearing pink. Oh, I'm confused. We'll I wonder how the umpires again, would be going. Viewers, let's go through this again for Andy's benefit. We've got uh, Borg Mills with the dark pink sleeves. Manly, you can see, have got that white sleeve. Oh, the white sleeve. There's the down, difference. Down there. Um, Manly have also got the white numbers. Um, Borg Mills have got the dark pink. Oh, That's okay. All right, yeah, now it makes sense. Where is the... Uh, All right, so we're talking we're 50 shades of pink. I reckon you could probably count 50 shades of pink out there today. Um, it would have been very pink if the umpires had worn pink shirts. I did see that last season. That's a uh, foul off Rotto's foot. Morris threw a uh, breaking ball there that uh, Maxi went after. Unreasonable thing to do to try and get that ball. Big night in the hills area tonight. Um, is, Castle, Castle Hill. Hill are having their uh, their big dinner. Still tickets available. Hundred and thirty, great value. One hundred thirty-five dollars, three course meal. Very nice. Get a drink for free on entry. Very nice. And he sees the ball outside, walks in, walks in, which puts the force on, puts runners on first and second base here for uh, Borkham Hills. And brings Lucas Stanzik, the right fielder, up for Borgham Mills. And I've got a band playing too, Stephen. Very Squid nice. Munchies. Very nice. If you do want to get tickets, head over to uh, Castle Hill's Facebook page or their... Um, no, their I'll just give them Matt Watson's mobile. There you go. Yeah, do that. Press the uh, green button on your remote to uh, get Matt's number, is that right? That's it. Stanzik lose that one up for ball one. Two outs here. In the bottom of the first inning, a 3-0 scoreline in favour of Manly. And uh, both pitches have gone, gone a, uh, a fair way. One sec. Oh, Zach's still on eight, only on 18 pitches. That's not too bad. Stanzik fouls that one off. Young Matthew Courtney on deck. Or a steals. Stanzik leaves that one, and it's called a strike by uh, Michael Bryan. That was a uh, nice little off speed. That was a uh, great hit uh, pitch to hit, but he laid off one ball, two work. strikes, Stephen. Breaking ball, swung on that and missing it. That and that concludes the first inning. Manly ahead by three runs to nil. We'll see when we get back. <laughs>
Pitching change here for Borkham Hills on the mound is young James Ferguson. And this could be um, a combination we see a lot in the future. Ferguson to Nadoi with Nadoi catching. Uh, Ferguson, uh, pretty well known for probably one of the quickest fastballs in the nation. We'll just see what he, uh, what he deals up here. Aidan Patterson, the nine hole hitter for Manly, takes strike one. Borkham Hills uh, infield playing way back, further back than Walla Walla. Just missed on that one. Yeah, Ferguson just a little bit outside. Certainly had some giddy up on it. Swings through for strike two. Just a little foul tip, I think, there. There was a little yep. bit of uh, noise. Yeah, a little bit of bat on that one. Okay, Patterson, the nine hole hitter. With two strikes on him. One thing I learned a couple of years ago. One ball and two strikes is the lowest batting average pitch count in Major League Baseball. Okay. Some bat on that and stays on one and two. That ball got on uh, Patterson very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, we're wishing the Castle Hill Club all the very best uh, for tonight's uh, function. 40 years is pretty good. 40 years? I think Carlingford are coming up for 50, 50 years soon. Ground ball up the middle. Phoenix McFarlane picks it up on the run over to Cuspert and there's a force out there of uh, Patterson over at first base. Brings up Luke Donaghy. He um, was one for one today. Yeah. Got around on a uh, on a ball from Nick Sukins and popped it into uh, left field earlier. That he did. Strike one, I believe his nickname's Chad. <laughs> Lena and Greg uh, are his parents are up here on the hill and came and had a quick chat to us before the game. So let's see what Chad can do. You know what, I've known the kid for a couple of years. Didn't know his nickname was... I'll get that one. Well, uh, it could be a G up. They yeah. could just be g me up. I don't know. Well, there's one strike on, uh, on Chad there. I think there might be two strikes on him, yes, because it was the, uh, yes. I'm trying to commentate and do the scoreboard. I really shouldn't multitask, should I, Andy? No, you're doing well. And as we look around, um, Manly's uh, base coaches, down there on the first base is uh, the head coach, uh, Green Anderson, and over on third is uh, Sean Chipper. And he's hit that exactly where he hit the, the ball in the first dig, and he gets a, uh, a single. Two for two. With one out. That brings up uh, Josh King. He uh, he walked last time at bat. And uh, funny story, uh, last week I was uh, down at Midway in Ride. You know it, Stephen? I ran Midway. into uh, Josh's parents, uh, Mark and Diana, at, um, at the uh, Thai restaurant in Midway. You wouldn't put money on that? <laughs> no. There you go. And here he is playing for Manly. What a coincidence. They're out having a, uh, a dinner at the Thai restaurant there at Midway. Great little place. Good food. Good Italian restaurant there too. Recommend it? Absolutely. Awesome. I like a good Thai meal.
we'll say to uh, Mark and Diana. James just uh, keeping Luke in check there. That's Ferguson uh, checking in on Donna here over at first base. Ferguson just missing a touch high. Now yeah, those of you tuned in, this is a, uh, it's not a dead rubber, it's certainly uh, a must win for both teams, so yeah. they're going to go at it, it is a time game, I believe two and a quarter hours, or two they can't start um, the dig over 205. I don't pay much attention to the scoreboard. Well, not, I look at the current game we're in. You worry about the table after the game. Every game you've got to win. So we won't jump uh, too ahead of ourselves in making predictions of where, who's going to end up where. My auntie's my uncle. My, my uncle's my auntie. I don't know. Uh, we'll just uh, have a look at where they all lob at the end of the game and look at the playoffs for next week, I guess. Yeah, Stephen, you might be able to help us out. Where are the playoffs going to be next week? Uh, they're all at uh, Blacktown Sports Park. Fouled off hard to the... Uh, oh, the right what's go, what are they going to do with the Doosan Bears? That's, uh, that's a very good question. I don't know. Send them back to Doosan? Well, no? Ask, ask them to move politely. Okay, all right. Well, well, maybe the playoffs will be on the outer diamonds. Well, as soon as the... Um, uh, I don't know that they use the diamonds on, uh, on the weekend. Okay, all right. Uh, certainly don't at night. Well, it's still Josh King. He's had a quality at bat here. He's got the count full. Ferguson misses and puts him on with a walk and King gets his second walk for the day. Brings up Kane Flu. Kane uh, is one for one today. He's put one up the middle to centre field. And with runners on first and second base, a double plays will get Borkham Hills out of this. Shout out to our sponsors, Jack's Tyres, today. Hey, uh, the good people at Jack's Tyres are out there at the 12-hour event in Bathurst. As Ferguson misses up for ball one. Round the grounds. Uh, Blacktown of... Uh, Beaten uh, the Vikings seven to six. MacArthur have beaten Cronulla two nil. Uh, Royd Hawks have beaten Greater Western eleven eight. So I don't know what that does to everything, but um, either scores from games that that started earlier in the day today. It's very much going to be dependent on uh, on the result of this game. Oh, I guess it would, Steve. Yes. Ferguson uh, going about his work. This Manly team are looking very menacing. They've been able to put bat on ball early in this game. Score runs, converted into runs, manufacture runs. And there's a there's a there's hit a up the middle hit. again. And One run will speed. score. Pushing it out to 4-0 and uh, Kane Flew gets himself another hit. 
Two for two today, Flu. Brings up uh, Zach Morris. Ball one on Morris. Ferguson floats that one in for ball two. Um, sure if that was a change up but uh, sort of just uh, drifted across yeah Ferguson deals and they're tagging up on a ball out to the right fielder and that's Stanzik going for two and uh well, they've tagged up and advanced the runners. It, uh, they had a two out. Runners on two and three. Brings up uh, Lachlan Ludbrook. Catcher. The catcher with two outs. And Ludbrook, uh, he also hit one to left field the last time at bat, so he's one for one today. Ferguson's just struggling to get ahead in the count. He's yeah. uh, a little bit wild on his first pitch. His fastball. And some camera angles being brought to us by uh, Tinner out there in centre field, doing a great job. Making sure that camera's on focus and on point. Ferguson misses there, three balls. Not a lot, no damage uh, with three balls with first base open. Um, certainly wouldn't be giving anything other than a fastball. And misses outside. Misses, which uh, does end up putting runners all round. Craig Cuspert is out to have a little chat. Um. Just while Craig's having a chat, we will uh, say thank you to uh, our uh, our other sponsors, Borkham Hill Sports and Poolworks. Thank you very much for your ongoing support of the uh, of the club. That's uh, that's really good. We really appreciate it. Um, about paving, RBI, Elite. Enzo's and fine line fire protection as well. Thank you all. Probably just went out to settle him down, give him a break. He's throwing a fair few pitches at the moment. All right, up in the box now is Connor Clark. He uh, struck out. He's 0 for 1 today. He struck out at his last at bat. And. Uh, Borkham Hills, uh, they're all playing back because it's two out. We're playing any bag here to finish this hitting as Ferguson puts one in the dirt, spikes one. And uh, some good blocking there from Josh Nadoy. Keep that one under control. Ferguson gets set. Takes a breath and deals. Gets a belt high strike. Even the count at one. Yeah. 
Perks and deals. And that's fouled off. Boy Connor Clark. On deck for Manly, Ash Egan. The batter in the box is Connor Clark. Ferguson warns up and deals. Clark uh, fouls that one off and stays alive. Keeps this uh, Manly inning alive. Two runners in scoring positions. Second and third base occupied. Count comes even there at two. Yeah, do tune in for the rest of the weekend. I understand the ladies' game has been a forfeit by the Boomers, so there won't be a game after this game. We've got three games coming live to you tomorrow. Yeah. Ferguson misses just inside. Uh, brings the count full. they got uh, third grade tomorrow from uh, 9.30, second grade at midday, and first grade from 2.30. Guest commentators here, there, and everywhere. I even got a Spanish... Uh, Commentator coming in for a bit of third grade. Ferguson deals runners go to Chopper to Courtney and gets the out at first. Courtney over to Cuspert and that retires uh, the side. And we'll see you on the other side of the break. Back here at Northmead, 4-0 in favour of Manly. Into the batter's box as the second baseman from Borkham Hills, uh, Matthew Courtney, also known as Pudge. On the mound uh, is still the starter from Manly, Morris. And Morris steals. Pudge takes a belt high strike. Things understandable and not liking that Has one. Has a, a little bit. smile at the umpire <laughs> and says, well... Well, wasn't his zone. Morris uh, puts one by him for strike two. He swung at that. He can have a walk out of the box. Uh, into a bad count with two strikes on him now. And Morris um, keeps himself set. And misses high. Bottom of the second inning here. Uh, lead off hitter. You know this kid, mate? Yeah, just a little bit. 
Do you know him? Yeah, mate. They yeah. know him well. Know his old man well, too. Good bloke. Yeah, champion. <laughs> champion. Champion. <laughs> champion kid, that is. Champion kid. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know his old man. Uh, yeah, I know Cashy. Very Cashy's well. the old man. <laughs> ah, dear. Semi-formal. Cool. Oh, yeah. Semi-formal. <clears throat> and uh, Pudge swings on a uh, bit of a curve ball and gets himself struck out there, which brings up uh, Riley McGregor. And... Uh, is Riley's first plate appearance today. On deck is Lucas Cedar, the designated hitter for Borkham Hills. Who's the pitcher, mate? Uh, it's um, Zach Morris. Zach Morris, and okay, cool. Uh, just been mixing it up this innings, a lot of uh, breaking stuff. Two balls. What's Two been balls. going on, mate? Oh, not a lot. Not a lot? No. Good week? How was your week away? Oh, very busy. Uh, been busy, mate. Yes. How's yes. Monday? Good good day at the Super Bowl? Can't. Yes, yes. Chiefs won down there at um, that establishment in the Rock Zone by Feathers. Uh, he always puts on a good do, Feathers, and uh, down there at... Hearts Pub. Hearts Pub. Yeah, it's in, that's good it. Good pub. Yeah, yes. Doors open at 9.30. Yeah, no... No one disgraced themselves, did they? No one kicked out or anything like that? I, can't I would remember. imagine, like, I, if the door's open at 9.30. I can't remember. Riley, I can't Riley, remember, Don. Riley, Riley, Riley McGregor. <laughs> Monday was, was a long so time ago. Borgo's got a runner, uh, runner on base, runner so on. let's see what they can do because they've got a fair bit of work to do here. And I think, Court, if um, uh, MacArthur beat Cronulla, so that yes. puts Borkham Hills on top. But if Borkham Hills happens to get beat here... yes. I think ride in percentage is jump us, so we would drop to third spot. Oh, okay. And then the following week, Manly and MacArthur have a um, have a catch up game. Oh, to play. Are we having a week off, are we? We are. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. yep we are. Where'd that rule come in? That hasn't um, happened in past years. No, no. Well, next week was a spare round anyway. Okay. Runner goes and. He's uh, safe. Um, so that, that was a spare round anyway. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, and, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it was washed, it wasn't a washout, it was a round that was um, called off due to heat. Oh. I thought we'd had all their make-up games. We're not playing. We aren't playing. Oh. Mill's not playing. Oh, okay. It's just MacArthur and, and Manly. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, it may well have been that round that we called off here because of heat. Do we get to play that? Well, I don't. I don't know. I, no, we do, clearly we don't. Well, how we, can well, the we other are. ones? Well, I don't get it. I, I don't know. I don't I've, I've, I've got to. I've got to make some inquiries just to find out what Rod McGregor. That's ball's gone foul. That's gone foul. Yeah, and um, only the one game here today, mate. Yes. Well, the Boomers um, pulled the pin. Yeah. And our girls um, get the day off. So, like, that's that's the equivalent to the. Should be a fine. NRL, WL, right? Yes. Yeah, first grade. First grade. First grade. Haven't made the playoffs. But, I mean, so how can you forfeit in first grade? Well, I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know, Don. I certainly, uh, yeah. Well, Steve, uh, Michael Bryan punches Lucas Cedar out with a... The Morris has gone to uh, some big curly curveballs. Well, that was obviously a big curveball because Lucas ducked. Ducked it. Thinking it was going to hit him in the... Well, in it went the, above his helmet from here. In the melon. Yes. But it, yeah, dropped in. Dropped in. <coughs> Two out, uh, Akira Bastanian in the box. Sporting a pink belt. Looks very flash, don't that pink belt? Akira's uh, from the Greenway Club, Don. 
Oh, is he from... Oh, oh, oh well... Oh, he, he well, might have been in Greenway well, Junior. Maybe, yeah. 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 And I, I, I'm hearing Greenway are jack, oh, jacking, <laughs> jockeying to get back into the into the winter comp, which which, oh, I, guess, which I guess is good. Oh, yeah, that'd be good for the um, competition. Love to see I them back. Love to see Marrick full back. I don't think you'll see Marrick full back, but not yet. Maybe one next day. year. Or maybe next next season. Um, North Sydney mate, might oh. re might well, enter, and that would bring it back the to us. Bring the, back bears. the Bears. That would bring uh, Peter Valandis is going to manage them. <laughs> Very good. Um, that would bring back winner to eight teams, I believe, if those two happen to sort of come back. And I think, I think the um, the organisation like Sydney Winter League Baseball would be pretty happy with that. So, but you know, where where do the you, you got to get the players for eight teams, mate? Have you? Well, you do. You do. And then. And then you got to get the right players to make the competition viable, right? Okay. Yes, that's that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, Cashy looks resplendent in pink, doesn't, doesn't he? he? Just he's out there. Only what? So hey. what was that? A, a, a mound visit to to Morris? Ah, uh, uh, yes. With the yes, lead off, we lead off hitter, so. uh, Phoenix McFarlane up the bat, and Borkham Hills with runners on first and second base with two outs. Oh, he's called a strike on one. Uh, oh, a little bit below the knees. Well, he, um, like, bit of we saw on. a dominant pitching performance here last week from MacArthur, and we sort of... Yeah. Yeah. This kid's going pretty good too, mate. He's getting a lot of favourable calls on his first pitch. Um, McFarlane likes that one, that so one this should be head. two runs. That's over the head of Adichie. They're coming around. Uh, best he's going three. Got, he's uh, going three. He's going legs. three. He's got to get there. on his bike. Yeah, he's great there running. Three. Great running. And they've called time. Uh, umpire Dustin Stevens calls him safe and gives him time straight away, so he can get up. That was a, a that was a massive slippery nipple. Great play, mate. Yeah, good good play, mate. Yes, good play. Good play. <laughs> and uh, that uh, halves the lead of Manly. It's four two now with. Uh, uh, one out, so up comes Two out. Kobe Cusman, who's having a pretty good year with the stick. Pitch first grade. I don't know if it was his first grade pitching to be the other night, but uh, pitched oh, pretty well, mate. Over at Manly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have just... Did you go, did you? I did. I went out, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was trying to, to um, find it on YouTube. I couldn't find it. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a bad night. You wouldn't, you wouldn't set up your gear in that weather. So the doyen decided to um, run it through. Game changer. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> He's a chopper to second baseman. Patterson over anyway, Vegan, which... Uh, scored two runs. Scores two. Young McFarlane, good job. So we'll um, have a break and be back.
see if there's any changes. I, I've got a sneaking suspicion that um, I believe that Tunkin's made an outfield change, but we'll uh, pick it up uh, in the next few minutes if, if he, in fact, he did make a change. This is Ash Egan in the box for Manly. But a sneaking suspicion that the left fielder is Nixon. He might have come in for McGregor. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I, well, yeah, I'm not sure, mate, as you say. We'll, yeah. we'll um, pick it up in a minute. We'll pick it up in a minute. It's Ferguson uh, just struggling to get the uh, first pitch strike. Oh, Bastion. Nix is in for Bastion. <coughs> McGregor's going to centre. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Four two in favour of Manly. Early days in this game. I've only just ticked on to uh, the one hour mark. Well, that constitutes a game, right? So. Well, yes. Uh, we now we just need just to hold off. We've got a guest. What did you say, Donnie? We've got a pest. A pest, guest, pest. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, Ferguson gets one at uh, Belt High Strike. Misses on the outside, which uh, puts the lead-off runner on. And uh, Egan walks. Brings a dashy up. Uh, he's 0 for 1 today. This is the 9-hitter? Uh, the 8-hole hitter. 8-hole hitter, sorry. Yeah. He's wearing the socks up on the outside. Uh, nice pink socks there, Don. They are? Yes, they are. They are. So, yeah, no... Um no, no women's game today. No women's go women's game. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we could prepare for the big night, the big night, <laughs> of, the, the night of nights, the night of nights, the Mark at, Mark McGuire testimonial dinner at um, we were after Castle Hill RSL. Forty years at Castle at Castle Hill. That's a that's a milestone though. Um, it is. Wednesday they just had their forty. Oh, they? cracking night! Uh, oh, cracking. I don't know where I. I don't know why I didn't go. I couldn't go. Could, must have been it. You went, went to the golf day. Went to the golf day. The golf day was funny. Yeah, it was a good day. Ferguson deals. He's calling nothing low. The ump, sometimes. Michael Bryant. Sometimes I've, yeah, no, he's consistently been no down there. But anyway. Uh, field looks good, Don. Field's good. Field's good. I was down here, I uh, told him to come down. About 9.30 or something, I guess. We took the, after taking the tarps off and, and, uh, there's a base. Nadeau's had Nadeau. a go Has a shot, probably shouldn't have, but he did. Well, the runner's uh, over on second base. That's uh, Ash Egan. None out, yeah? None out. Count? Um, we don't know. No. All good questions, Don. <laughs> With no answers caught, no. Steve Bryant calls a strike on him. Well, I know we'll see what he puts up now. Three and one. Three and one. How's that? Waiting to see this umpire, Steve Bryant, punch a kid out. He's uh, good. Got the, he's got a very nice punch out. Uh, very mechanical. Taught. Yes, and very uh, rehearsed. Very right? deliberate. They tell me very that deliberate. Yeah, probably. With umpires, um, maybe you know, maybe practices. Stand in front of the mirror. In front of the, the mirror in the morning. The blue roo, I think, did that. Blue Roo gets out of the shower in the morning, gets in front of the mirror. Yeah. Starts practicing the punch here. Yeah. Dutchy walks. 
Okay, so we've got none of that. We've got runners on first and, and second. the nine hole hitter, Aidan Patterson. I get in, I get, I get in the trouble for calling one and two off my no, neighbour down the road. Yeah, that bloke who keeps the broom. Uh, washing his lawn. Yeah, with the broom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never known a bloke to sweep sweep the lawn. Oh, he yeah. does a lot of sweep, mate. The broom's never put away. Mows the car. Never put away. Uh, So what are you doing here? I know what I'm doing. You'd be bunting, wouldn't you? Yeah. Nine hole hitter. And showed bunt. A will play, Don? It's a scenario for a will play. Scenario for a will play. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, didn't absolutely. Never, now I only heard about a will play last week. <laughs> last week. And it was put on at the wrong time. No go. runner on second. Oh, throw was just on the wrong side of McFarlane. And, uh, he was dead if he... Uh, no, he was dead if the throw was on the other the throw side. throw was on the money. Anyway, it was a good throw. But Ash Egan got, got himself back in time. As Kate Shippers uh, giving the signals from third base there for Manley. Sean Chipper. Now, I believe we're getting picked up tonight to the, get chauffeured. Limo. To the limo. Limousine. Baxter's, Baxter's bus. Organised a bus. bus. They're picking you up first, Don. Yeah. Oh, you, well, you're yeah, well aware yeah, of that, right? Me. Yeah. Okay. Then we. And then Uncle John. We're getting Uncle John. Yeah, good. And Uncle John was down here early today. Ah, uh, he's coming down to have a look at uh, look at the juniors, pink day for sure. Oh, he's going to uh, freshen up. Yeah, he'll have a shandy or two tonight. Only one. One. Yeah, it was only one. Yes. Could it, yeah. Well. <laughs> Where's right. Ferguson from, mate? Originally, ride, ride boy. Yes, I know he goes Greenway. to uh, New Inks and Hoy down there at uh, Stanmore. Yeah. So I'd say right. Um, I got an idea, I got an idea right. He used to be an avid rower in his day. Yeah. In his uh, early days at high school. Well, he fouls that one off. That was ball four. Well, he was um, yeah. He tried to get it, get out of it, but um, he realised it was ball four. Yeah, he'd already gone round and fouled it off. Keep a good eye on Michael Bryan here for the punch out. Well, I've got to do that because you said it's a pretty good one. Mechanical is the word you Mechanical. Use. Ferguson deals. Misses and we'll have to wait for that punch out. As that's three walks in a row. No outs. None out. No. No, no outs. Brings up the top of the order, Luke Donaghy now. Uh, Donny. Two hits. Two for two, both to left field. Don't want to preempt anything. Um, what are we doing? We're playing in to get the runner at home. Uh, double yep. play, Got double it. play through the corners. Well, that would be um, that would be what you'd be after. And you've got the bloke uh, to do it behind the dish here. Got the arm. Oh, he's got to be tried the back door someone before. Yes. Ball there. Got to be on the money. Winston Hills. Got to be on the money. Ferguson struggling with command early in the count. He'll come back now. But, uh... Mate, it's, it's funny how you sort of remember things or you think of things when you do something. Every time I go into a fruit shop, Yes. Who do I think of? I say a mango or I say a <laughs> cherry. Oh, this will be good. Think a doggy. <laughs> yes, doggy. All three, you think of donkey. And I was looking with some of those genetically <laughs> grown cherries that you've been to. Yeah, well, I couldn't find From any. Tasmania. Couldn't Massive. find them. Expensive. Bloody hell. Yeah, 40 bucks a kilo. Oh, you won't get mate. a bit of cherry. No wonder we didn't get any off him <laughs> Christmas time. Ferguson deals. 
And gets a strike, a belt high uh, strike. He's there. been he's been up there all day. So okay. Yeah. No. Strike two. All right, all eyes on uh, Michael Bryan here for the punch out, Don. Last time you said that. They got a base, mate. They did. Anyway. anyway. Let's see what happens. Right. You're blaming me for that base, I guess. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Ferguson deals. Fouled off. Jeez, that's over in... Uh, Looks like it's hit a Hyundai Tucson in the car park. There's a Tucson over there parked right next to a dark blue Audi. Game parking cars there, mate. Yes. Ferguson misses up. And uh, that's uh, the fourth walk in a row. And Dottie... In the words of, uh, in the words of Jackson Brown, I think this kid's running on empty. Good song. Good song. Great song. Yeah. So another, another pitch and change here. Ed Noy goes in for James Ferguson. Well, Ed Noy's on the mound here. Uh, And off walks Beaver. He's, he's, in the words of Chris Trish, officer, he's looking faded than his jeans, isn't he? <laughs> Have a look at him. Yeah, it's not not good. <clears throat> not good. Okay, 5-2 in favour of the Manly side. 6-2, two, it? No, 5-2. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. And uh, four walks in a row, back to back to back to back. Uh, brings up uh, the two-hole hitter. He's had two walks today, Josh King. And uh, young Ed Noyes come onto the mound for Borkham Hills. Haven't seen him pitch for a while, Don. Pitched last week. Did he? I wasn't Started there. last week. Yeah, how'd he go all right? Um, probably wasn't his best outing, could Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, I was umpiring over at um, Cole Sutton last week. Missed it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there's slushies at the canteen, if anyone's here listening in. Um, we've got watermelon slushies and fruit tingle slushies. And you can mix them up. You, mix, oh, well, you can. Yeah, half an hour. No yeah. extra cost. Never thought of that. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Never thought of that? No. Oh, there's Frankie Fingerson up on the hill there. Frankie and... Joe Miyoto shouting out to them. Noy starts it off oh, with a strike. Starts it off with a, <coughs> with a uh, strike. And let's see what Josh King can do in the box. There's a double play, Don. That was, uh, we called that. Well, you called that before. Ago. You did. Yeah, you called yeah, it four, four plays ago. Four plays anyway, ago. well done. Uh, Natoy uh, looked at home there. Uh, went back to what a great play as we watch it on this uh, Norman Ross re replay. Oh, yeah. Harvey good play. Norman straight good back to good uh, Ed Noy and heads up for Ed Noy playing through, through two. The catcher, Natoy. Back to Cusp. But now. Um, now the infield plays back now from Borka Mills with runners on second and third base and two out. Noy misses with the curve. This is Kane Flu. Up he's hit two up the guts. He's got two for two today, and they've both been up the middle. Gee, Noy's fires that one in for a strike. He's looking good. Sorry, he got a throw, I think. Right. Very good.
Oh, that's uh, over. Flew thousand off over the batting board. tunnels, scoreboard, facilities. Chris Adamson stand. <laughs> Call yes. it what you like. The tank stand. The tank stand. He's climbed up there a few times in his day, tank. First base is opened here. But uh, Ed Noy's going after Flute. Ed Noy duels. Great pitch. Flew swings, fouls it off. Flew Same swings. spot, basically. We still haven't seen this Michael Bryan punch a kid yet. Too. Well, no, ever since you, ever, ever since, since I brought it up, mentioned the mechanical punch yet, nothing's happened. Oh, it's mechanical perfection. All right, full count. We might see something happening here, Don. Ball four is what we will see. Brings up the, the pitcher, Zach Morris. He's, um, oh, so he's hitting for himself, yeah? Yeah, he's um, okay. one for two today. He's made contact both times. He's made Rip contact that with that too. One bounce to centre field. McGregor's coming in. Two runs are going to score. It's cut off. But uh, Morris gets the job done for Manly. And we got a 7-2 lead to Manly with uh, Lachlan uh, Ludbrook up. Uh, Ludbrook's from Beacon Hill, Donny. I uh, went to uh, St. Augustine's up there. Good Catholic boy. You got all the intel, mate. It's good. Shout out to his parents, uh, Nicole and Jeff, who uh, they tuned in over there. They probably got some, uh, I don't know, some brewery in Brookvale somewhere. Watch Plenty the of them there. Yeah. Is there? Plenty of them there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had a crawl through most of them one. At a Bucks oh, weekend. Oh, like, yeah, of yeah. course. That wasn't long ago, was it? Oh, a few years ago. A few yeah. years ago. But no, it's good. No, it's good. Good. Ed Noy deals. Fouled off. Michael Bryan's got no balls. Fred Elsley comes out and helps him out. Elsley, uh, family connection here with Noy and Elsley? Oh, he's part of the family, yes. Okay. Yeah, he's part of the family. I did hear that. I could probably just ask Brett, couldn't I? I will. Oh, there we go. There There's a punch we out. It. Oh, wow. What a we punch out there by we Michael We wish we'd have seen it about four they, runs ago, that That would have been good. Yeah. That but you're right. Good. Very good. Very Rehearsed. good punch out there by Brian. Okay. Brian. Awesome. We'll be back.
Okay, we're back. We're back. Borgo, got some work out of him, mate. Well, in the words of Bob Seeger, Donny, still the same. Still the same. 7 2. Well, like I said, like before, it's either minor premiers or third spot, right? Simple as that. Uh, Josh Nadoy fouls that one off. What's a. What's a young doggy? What would that be? Foul? Uh, it's not a foul. That's a horse, right? Donkey, donkey Junior. No, Colt. Donkey Junior. Colt, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Joe be watching today, you reckon? Joe would be watching. Yeah. And the nickname comes from his father, Frank. He was known as Donkey over at the Fruit Mart. Right. So. Okay. This is. That I fouls that uh, MC Hammer off. So Natoy leading the third inning off here for Borkham Hills. And um, Borkham Hills in, in dire need of a big inning, Don. Natoy's ripped that way up. Centrefield is coming around and Centrefield gets it. Takes catch, good catch. Great catch, covered a lot of ground out there, King. And uh, that retires uh, Natoy. But uh, no relief here for Manly as the next two batters are both in the Australian squad. That was Natoy in the Australian squad, Donnie. We've got Miyoto, who's in the okay, squad. Okay, and, and, and then Stanzik. Stanzik. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Three hitters from the Australian squad. Chris Rockspring just walked in. He's just walked in. Huh? I thought he was dead the other day. When he well, landed, well, he, he didn't move yeah, for three I, minutes. I, I, um, I, was, I tried looking at that on the... Well, I haven't got to that. Well, I was running up yet. to get the defib. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then Clapo. Clapo, he had a... He got a grade... What, what's worse? Grade one, grade three. Anyway, he's uh, got a grade one tear. Ooh, him, tear okay. him. I thought grade one was the worst. Right. Chat room's not open today, is it? No, no chat room today. Um, so we can't have the viewers help us out there. can't have it. What's worse, a grade no. one or a grade three? No. Anyway. Miotto looks at that one uh, down Broadway. Uh, uh, Morris uh, mixing it up here on the Yeah, no, he's, he's doing mixing a good job. It up. Doing a good job. Not really lights out, but just mixing it up just enough. Their mates having a laugh, Miotto. He's um yeah, he's got some movement on it too. Yes, yes. Well, I'm wearing polarized sunnies, Donny, so I don't see a lot of the movement. Max he swung at that one. <laughs> now back to tonight, Don. Will they be serving cocktails? Oh I I just found out today. It's a dry event. Uh, it's, uh, I just found out today that that it's a semi formal. Yep, yep. Well, I've got to get to the dry cleaners. I'll have to leave early to pick up my suit. <laughs> oh, I've actually, yeah. Well, that. But wait, wait. Oh, what if what if you did turn up? I was going to wear this pink, pink jersey. Well, well would or you get the same reception as Pink got it? The Manly Skiff Club. Yeah, or? you'd be sent on your way. Where not mate, these clubs in. don't muck around. Uh, that uh, retires Miyoto. A bit of a breaking ball there. Brings up Stanzik. Floats that one in for a strike. Oh. 
see what Lucas Stanzik. This is the younger brother of uh, Tommy Stanzik from the Canberra Cavalry, Tom. Yeah. I sort of knew that, Cobb. Did you? Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if the viewers did. This That's, um, oh, well, yeah, well, possibly they didn't, so, yeah. Fair call. But, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> All good. <laughs> right, so the limo is picking you up first. Me. Apparently, Uncle yeah. John. What about yeah. it's picking up Cashy and Cussie first? Stanzik's yeah, ripped that to that centre field. It's going to drop in. Drop in. It's, yeah, it's he's dropped no it. No catch. Don't know if he dropped it. It's landed in front of King. And uh, Stanzik's on with one with two out. Oh, credit the kid. He had a crack. Like he laid yeah, it out. Like okay. didn't get <laughs> didn't get past him. Wow. This brings up the second baseman, uh, Pudge Courtney. He's 0 for 1 today. Having a good chat, a few things to say. Maybe uh, still going. All right. Laura steals. Courtney takes ball one. Uh, Borgham Mills desperately need to get something again. Maybe a two-out rally? Well, they need something. Ball two on him. The runner goes. Pudge takes ball three. And uh, Stanzik's into second base quite easily there, Don. Puts the runner in a scoring position with three balls. Uh, he certainly, I think he'd have a <coughs> green light here. Got a green light here, you reckon? Well, you never know with Beaver. No, no, no. He's just waving to someone there. Eh? Yeah, he's waving. There's a balk. Yeah, he threw that pitch, Donny. How's that ball for? And no pitch. Well, we got rules. Not called on no pitch. Okay. What's he doing there, mate? Oh, you're swinging. Put one on the ground through the... No, maybe not. Ball four, you're not swinging at that. Courtney walks. Now what are you doing? Oh, well, you're, Where still, are we? you're still in second. Oh, they, exactly you're right. Out. You're going, you're going because, yeah. They'll try and throw him out and the run will score. And if he gets a jump, he'll go. They might not even hold him. Well, maybe they won't, actually, because... They're going to play... Oh, they're two, out, chat. two out, two nah, out, two oh, out. Oh, look at this. This is um, some changes happening here from uh, Sean Chipper. The assistant coach for Manly's out, and he's moving the field around. And we will just have a look at what he's doing. He's going out to get the ball off Zach Morris. Shakes his hand. Says to the right fielder, Clark's coming into pitch. Could be a turning point in this game, Don. So Morris going to third base. Morris is going to third. Where's Flew going? Clark's on the mound. Flu has gone to get an outfield glove. I would say so. <coughs> yeah, he will replace the the Clark kid coming into pitch. Okay. Opportunity for Borko here, probably. Okay. <laughs> huh? 
forfeit. Well, our blokes forfeit or they forfeit. Well, there you go. There's action of plenty on the back diamond here at Borkham Hills. Um, It's all happening at North Mead. Riley McGregor all in the happy. box. Two outs, runners on the corners. They're holding Matthew Courtney over at first. And well, that you would. That you would. Pitches short arms at McGregor. Swings. Foul tip. Gregor puts it on the ground, a run will score here. And Courtney nearly went there. He had the shortstop going with him. It would have been a race to third base. But McGregor gets himself a hit and a run. Now yeah, we have a 7-3 ball game. Lucas Cedar, the designated hitter for Borkham Hills, has been, been good with the stick He's lately. Been very good with the stick. Just, uh, Clark doing a little bit of gardening out there on the mound. Big leg kick by nice, Clark. Um, nice flat swing. Nice flat swing. And the scoreboard attendant might maybe, uh, we're good at our scoreboard, but the attendant... Yeah, he's, oh, fixed no, he's, he's fixed it, he's fixed it, he's He's listening to me. He's listening to you. <laughs> well, that's a sweeper. Sweeper, slider, whatever you want to call it. It was a great pitch. Good pitch. Had uh, Cedar chasing it. My word. Clark deals. That one's in the dirt. And uh, Courtney will get to third. And behind him, McGregor will get himself to second. So uh, a base hit by Cedar will score a couple with two out. And he's got to go. Courtney's. Ball's fair. Right, eh? Courtney comes home. Cedar gets himself on with a slash bunt. Sort of caught no man's land there, Morris, because, yeah. Well, he was waiting for it to go well, foul, he, and then he grabbed it because he, he figured well, if, I, if I keep waiting, two runs might correct, score mate. here. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, it was 7-4. Um, um, it was four between a rock and a hard place, as they say, caught there. Well, that's it. Uh, so the radar gun will be out tomorrow? Oh, the tech I mean, has got the yes. radar gun? Yep, we'll have a couple of guns here, actually. So that's, that's up good. the middle there. That's up the middle, but anyway. Oh, girl. 7 uh, 4. We'll be back with you shortly. <laughs>
Mead, no, oh, back at North Mead. Bit of a false start Score there. Score 7-4 in, in favour of the Eagles. Connor Clark, the pitcher's in the box. Or well, the relief pitcher. It's 0 for 2 today. Comes the North Mead doctor. Here's the doctor. We needed a doctor here last week for Ox. We did put it for Ox, yeah. Swinging a miss. Oh, no, he, he didn't. He tipped it. Sorry. Foul. Still a strike, though, Jared. Two strikes here on Clark. Uh, Borker Mills needing a quick inning and need to get out and bat again. Ed Noydeals. Great pitch outside. Yeah, Don, I'm wearing polarised glasses. Is that glove a tan glove or a light blue glove he's pitching with? I'd say it's tan, mate. Okay. That always uh, putting some work in today. Yeah, he's done a fair job beyond there, actually. Not working as hard as the cameraman out in the centre field in the sun. Stan. There. Yeah, Stan. We uh, we must look after it, Blake. He keeps coming back. He does. Thanks, mate. Another punch out there, boy. Um, Michael Bryan. Oh, really? That's one out here. That's I think that's the first time Porker Mills have got the first out without a runner on, Don. <laughs> it might be a turn of the tide court, you reckon? Could be. That was... Uh, so what uh, used to sing that, the tide is high. She did. Yeah, she did. The tide is high, and I'm moving on. Yes. Hey, um, what yeah. time is tonight? Uh, well, tonight... Um, well, the limo let me bring roadies. We'll have oh, to. We'll have to. Well... You'd think there'd be a fridge in the limo. Have to ask. Have to ask. Have to ask. Um. Can't get his attention. The limo driver. There's a chopper. Anyway, that should be. Chopper to Courtney. He'll make the out. <coughs> and there's uh, two dead. So Clark struck out. And Nash Egan's uh, ground balled into a force out at first base. Brings up Adachi, the outfielder. Eight hole, eight hitter. Haven't got much info on him, Don. Adachi. <laughs> Sorry. Some, someone's just said he's Swedish. I don't, we, we, I don't think why so. Don't you know the, did you say it was a fridge in the limo? Is there not? I don't know. Is there a fridge in the limo tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah we're right. Side. Fridge we're is in the limo, so no need for. Oh, Ed Noy, spoiled. Ed Noy, yes, we are spoiled. Well, you you wouldn't expect anything less from the Castle Hill Baseball Club that's sending the limo over to pick us up. True, very true. Big thank you to Matt Watson for doing that. Um, Cash is telling me Switzerland. Um, did it win today, Don, Switzerland? It did. Okay. It will, did. Will it um, give Storm Boy a run? Uh, Probably not. Way. Probably not. I, I, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Adachi in the box. Ed Noy deals low. No damage there. Great spot boy, Noy. Of course, Ed's in the Australian squad, Don, this pitcher on yeah, the mound. Yeah, yeah. Ed deals. Adachi fouls that off. Cuspert's got it. And there's the first three up, three down of the day for Borkham Hills. They mean business here, Don. Well, it's the first time they have today, mate. Anyway, we'll be back.
Back okay. to North Mead. 7-4 four in favour of um, Manly. Yeah, they... Top of the four got out that one pretty well. They got that one. Nothing, but I mean, at the top of their order. So now's the time to... Um, yeah. McFarlane absolutely had a, bit of a, had a good rip. Yeah, well, he, second yeah, he at triple bat. scored two last time. He so. did. Castle Jr., Don? Yeah, no, he's a good, he good, good kid. Good player. His dad's a life member. One of those 110 life members that Mark McGuire mentioned during the week. Someone went to the scorebook and there's actually only 55 life members. Don. Okay, yeah, I would have thought. That's yeah. a lot of life members. Yeah, but he said he quoted 110 on the stream. I think we've only got... 20 or something like that. You've got 20. Something oh, like that. Okay. All right. Maybe. Telling me at the uh, 25th anniversary of the Castle Little Club, all the life members got a... Uh, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very observant, Don. Very all the life members got, got, a, got, math. got a free start. <laughs> and... Uh, Got a free what? Yeah, yeah. Got a free. <laughs> All right, Phoenix McFarlane. Three balls, one strike. Right, oh, no, he draws a walk. Draws a walk. Uh, brings up the first baseman, Kobe now. Um, I'd say there'd be a red light on him for the first pitch. You tell me, Don. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, he's what thrown four balls in a row, so you wouldn't expect him to be swinging in. Checking in at Phoenix over at first, but Phoenix has got some wheels there, Don. Yeah. Should have got the dirt then, court. Should have. Clark deals. Uh, Always away. There you go. Strike one on Cuspert. Cuspert drives that into the gap That's between uh, That's third really base and shortstop. He's a very good bat, Kobe. That's a very good bat. <coughs> yeah. He gets himself right a, a single. Uh, who's this bloke in the box, Don? I just lost my lineup. Um, Donkey uh, Junior. That way. Yes. <laughs> All right. First time you'll face Clark today. He's faced uh, Morris has got him out both times. See what he can do. See what Clark can do. Starts him with a breaking ball. McFarlane's out. Now, my question to you, Don, is... Why? Why is the runner still at first base? Because I would suggest that the runner took it on his own cord to... Uh, steal. Steal. Yes. But... Nonetheless, if you're following a kid... And that eye laces one. Gets himself like there's, you know, well, there possibly you a run. Yep. Oh, well, it's no outs as opposed to one out. Yeah. Well, he would have been on three anyway, right? With your four. four. Yes, yes. With like bases four loaded, no come outs. Up, bases loaded, no outs. McFarlane was pretty quick. He, he didn't really get a good jump. There. He was, he was, was he out cold? He was... Changes coming. He was hosed quis quicker than uh, Ingsy's horse, mate. <laughs> Impresario. 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 All right. Uh, pitching oh, don't change. worry, mate. I've been, I've been in that situation. So, um, and it, can you just read that out, will you? I can't read. I've got me um, foal, a colt. A colt is a young male donkey. There you go. Cold. <laughs> That's cold. Are we still on? Are we fish? Yeah. We're still on. We'll keep us on. That's all right. We can have a bit of a chat. Is uh, who's coming onto the mound now? This is twenty-two. 
This well, is, uh, this is the other 22. Let's have a look. I did write the numbers down. 22. Patterson. It's Patterson, Don. Okay. So uh, Patterson's up with one out. Well, what a day here at Northmoot. It's been beautiful day. Beautiful day. In the words of Jimmy Barnes, there's no second prize, Donnie. You're full of them today. Well, huh? yeah. Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown running on Blondie. Empty. Blondie. Bobby Still. Bobby Seeger. Seeger. Still the same. Now, Barnesy. Yeah. Patterson floats one in. Miotto lays off the curveball for ball one. Looked a bit inside. Um, Patterson's all right. Lobs another one in for ball two. So Patterson's coming so from no, second uh, base on. <coughs> no and fast ball to Maxi. Puts. Adishi from the outfield to second base. So who's out there for Adishi in left field? Oh, that's... Flu. Flu. Okay. Miotto. It's that one, a fly ball to right field. He's caught out. And Cuspert doesn't go. So with two outs, runners on first and second base. And Scotty Tunkins over there saying in the words of Grudy Smith, too many times, Donny. You're as mental as anything, of course. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sanzik takes a floater that falls into the zone for a strike. Home run will even it up, Don, with two <laughs> outs. <laughs> Yeah. She's just got to put it over that fence over there. Well, I um, I saw the other um, Nat I can't do that one day. Oh, yes. Um, what's his name? Um, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, but he wasn't playing for us. No. So I wasn't too happy about it. He put it. it over that big tree, I think. Well, it didn't go, went a long way, but didn't go that far, mate. Yes. In between the two trees. Stanzik chops one. Stanzik chops one, but stop. that's just going to be a... Force out on that eye, and that's side away. Got it up.
back at, We're back. Back at North Mead, the pitcher for Manly, uh, Patterson. Batting left. Was he throwing left? He was throwing right. Bats left, throws right. Pitching change here for Borkham Hills. We've got Milkshake on the mound. That's him. Damien Wilson. That's him. That's him. Lefty on lefty and Wilson misses low. Patterson uh, fouls that one off. <coughs> Wilson misses low. I was just thinking a bit, a bit like St. Patrick's Day tonight, Don. Everyone will be wearing green. You got a green suit? No. No? No. 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 We don't wear a green suit there. I was going to wear a maroon one. Well, you could wear that, I guess. Could. We could swap the pants up. We could swap the pants up. Maroon pants. We could. <coughs> green jacket. Well, we could. Um, I was looking forward to seeing jacket, the girls play pants. here today, but it's not to be. Yeah, well, that, yeah, oh, look, I've, you know, it's... Uh, we, um... Yeah, but uh, obviously disappointing because it's Pink Day, right? Yes. But I think, the, I think the rule is that um, that you've got to have six registered first grade players before you can take the field. So oh, okay. that means you can have six first grade players All right. and three okay. B grade players. Now clearly, clearly they haven't um, come yeah, up with they that. They didn't have the six mm. registered first grade players, but. Okay. It sort of, you know, begs begs the question. Like they, they come into the comp. This this is not just them. Um, you know, a few years back. Well, we won't name then, names, Don. And then there's no need to name they names. They better get the better players get poached by mm. other clubs. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. you know, it's gonna it's got to weaken it's got that to, club yeah. and it's got to weaken destroys, the comp. Yeah. Destroys competition. And you end up with what we've got today. Yep. All right. Anyway, full count here with milkshake dealing. And that's straight. Oh, there's a there punch out from it's a bit of a, Brian. It's, it's, a, it's a beauty. Mate, it's a beauty. It's like, it's a beauty. It's like it's he's hit the bloke and he's going down. He's halfway down and he gives him another jab. But it's not a It's not it's a, a, it's not a, a rip, right? It's just it's a, a half jab right into the rib cage. Yeah, half jab. Yeah, into the rib cage. Yeah. Anyway, one dead. Okay, Luke Donahue, the lead off hitter. He's two for two today and he's walked. But he hasn't faced Milkshake. Yeah, you know why they call him Milkshake, Don, don't you? Well, yeah, I think you christened him that then, yeah? Was That's it you to christen him that? <laughs> You're going to tell me anyway. Donna Heel. That should be. Oh, so that's, over, the that's head. over the head. Over the head of McGregor. McGregor. There's a, there's a slippery. McGregor it is out there. That was a big hit there by Donna. He's ripped the ball all day. Absolute uh, cracking hit. And uh, is he in the Australian team? I think he is. I don't know. We'll have to confirm that. We'll ask the chat room. Well, we, go, we can't because the chat room's, chat room's closed. Mark, tomorrow, right. tomorrow. We can find tomorrow. out tomorrow. We'll find, find out, out tomorrow. off the Doyen. The Doyen will be here. The Doyen will be here. But he's had a very good game today. Let's put it like that. Oh, he is. He's three. He had a good three. game Wednesday night too. Yeah. That uh, brings uh, Josh King up. His uh, mother Diana works locally, Don. In the hills. School teacher up at Castle Hill High. Okay, I okay. believe.
Wilson deals. It's fouled off uh, down the Calvin Klein. That thunder? Let's hope not. Tarps will be out, right? The boys are geared up to do that, so all good. That's all we can do. And get down tomorrow morning and start mopping up, I suppose. If we mm. get uh, if we get a decent sort of shower. <coughs> all right, Wilson. Gets set. And he deals. Oh, curveball. Jammed him up. Yes, Don, he went to Bali, ordered a milkshake in, in the milk bar. Or in a restaurant in Bali. I've never seen a cow in Bali. I've seen plenty of sheep. But where would they get the milk? To make a milkshake in Bali, Don? You're an idiot. <laughs> Good point, though, mate. <laughs> Bit like going to break and hill and ordering lobster or, or fish or something, you know. Guess you could get freshwater crayfish at Broken Hill, but like... Well, you can. Well, you probably could. Have you been to Bali, Don? No. 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 I've been there for a long time. No, no, I've I'm never seen a cow. This has been a few. She better. She okay. goes over there. Yoga treats. I'm not, not in Oh, yeah. you're not? Not really, no. <laughs> Actually picked you as a yoga freak. So, All he right. walks. Walks, um... Walks King to get to Kane Flu and uh, Flu's two for two. Uh, one out, so. Flu's two for two. I'd put him on, Don. I'd put him on at this point of the game. And you'll be playing your double play through Natal at home. Well, you got double. Well, well yeah, there's a double play up the middle. You got double play up the middle now, right? It's two for two. He's hit them both to centre field. Um, so you've got a sack fly in place here. Two balls on flu. Wilson gets that one, boy. Just failing it off. Oh. He's out. Great play by Miodo. And uh, they get the lead runner. As Flu goes into a fielder's choice. Of... Okay. I don't know why he tried to do that. To come home? Yeah. Well, 7-4 instead of 8-4. Eight, eight uh, yeah, but Flu's hit the, you know, well out of the ball all day. Zach Morris. Oh, sorry, Morris has some hits. Two so. for three today. I'd be putting Morris on, maybe. Um, yeah, you probably runners yeah, on first and second. No, we, we go at him here. Two out. Manly certainly come a long way with these juniors, Don. They're looking very strong. Uh, I they have a strong team um, on paper. And they got a good, well, they've got a pretty good setup over there, actually. Um, yes. I, I, I go over there to watch my grandson play. He plays okay. for he plays for Ringer, and yep. um, yeah, what, what what I see going on, you know, development wise, certainly up at um, up at Aquatic, which is mm -hmm. which is the home um, the home base for Forest Juniors. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was quite, uh, quite, quite impressed with what they're doing. So, thing is, like, it's like you, you sort of got to hang on. You, you got to hang on to them. And have to, have to. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying they don't, not not for one second. But it, it's hard when you've got other clubs, you know, that have got no juniors. Yes. Just snipping around. Snipping around. You yes. Know, yeah. Yeah. Promise them this. Promise them oh, that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It, it it goes on court. Just, you know. Well, Donnie, we've got someone that snuck through in the chat room, and they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're claiming to be Michael Bryan's housemate, and they reckon he practices in front of the mirror. Well, uh, all, umpire, all umpires do. Runners go. He's gone to Phoenix, McFarlane. And Walker Mills get out of that. Get they're out chasing of that. three runs. Chase. Well, I need four runs to win. Four runs to win. Seven, three to tie. We're up. Back here at North Mead, um, Pudge Courtney leading it off, chasing three runs. Patterson on the mound for Manly. Patterson deals, misses high. Bit of life in the ball go dugout for the first time today. Well, yes. Anyway. One on Courtney. Let's pop that one up. And stays alive as there are three players. Four if you include the runner with pink shirts all coming. Yeah, forward. he should try and make, got to make that hurt, right? <coughs> yeah, he's got to make that hurt. Um, one ball, two strikes. Mills need a base runner here. One's fouled down the line. He's gone for a bit of a uh, very slow curve ball. Billy worked. Fouls that one off and stays alive. He's got himself into a bad count here. But, um, one ball, two strikes. And, uh, strikes out there, brings up McGregor with one out. Yeah, no. McGregor line. 
lines out to the shortstop. Two out here. Bottom of the fifth inning. Brings Lucas Cedar up. Swing and a miss, young Lucas. Yes. Not sure of the time rules here, Don. Will this be the ball game? Yeah, mate. Yeah, this, yeah, this is it. And Balkan Hills looks like they'll be doing it the hard way to get into the final, the grand final. They're well, they're going to, well, yeah. I, I, look, I think, I think they're guaranteed a spot. They're guaranteed like, a but spot. But I don't really know because... Um, I'm pretty sure, well, Cronulla got beat, which would mean we would jump them. But we get beat, and, uh, and Ride won. I think that means Ride jumps us. So Ride would now, Cronulla would still be in first spot. Ride would be second. We would be third. But Manly and MacArthur mm. have a game to play next week. So I'm not, yeah. Um, oh, I don't think Roy get in front of us, Don. I think Roy or a half a Cedars uh, put that into the gap. Balls on the ground, no catch. All right, two outs. Uh, Mills have a base runner in the top of the order. This is the nine-hole hitter. Nixon, who's come in for Bastonian in the game. Do we know what happened to Bastonian? Is he all right? Never got hurt? Not, I sure. Not sure. That was certainly there to be. Um, yeah, it was on the outside hit. corner. With a nice hit behind the runner. Oh, they're going. Nah, he's safe. A yeah, big day here tomorrow, Don. Everyone's yeah. welcome. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's, I think Bring your own, money. We'll be the only. Bring your money. State league game tomorrow. I yeah. think that's right. Yeah. We're all playing yep. today. Yep. So we should have plenty today. on the plenty in the chat room. Plenty viewing. Yes. Two out. Nixon's getting into a hitting count. It's all right. No arm done there. Now yeah, he makes it a little bit harder on himself as there's two strikes on him. That was uh, pretty fat, that one, Don. Spent a lot of time in America in the last year, this kid, Don, I'm told. Curveful and uh, Nixon fouls that off. Wait on that, fouls off, which is good. Yeah. 
So lobster on the menu tonight, I hear. Oh, well, yeah, want to be. Yeah? Yeah, it'd have yep. to be. Nothing but the best. Hey? Eh? Nothing but the best. No, 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 good. Yeah. And a choice Wagyu, with, with Wagyu lo beef. Lobster and Wagyu beef. Yeah. You can have the Wagyu. Surf and turf, they call surf it. Surf and turf. Okay. Frog legs for entree, Don. That's in play. They're coming in on it. Nixon is. He's safe, safe. at first. And... <coughs> Well, we've got a ball game, Don, with two out. Well, we're not going now without a fight, so I suppose, which is good. McFarlane's, um, he's one for two today. He's hit extras and he's one, <coughs> one at bat. And he's the leadoff hitter here. And he's cast a little junior to boot. Yeah. Yeah, we've got nobody there tonight, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, Damo, he's, hear, um, Damo's, um, he's asked if he could borrow a suit off me because it's semi-formal. Yeah, Grange on the table too, are you not? Huh? Yes. Yes, yeah, there will be some uh, Grange. Grange Hermitage. Yeah. Penfolds. Yep. All good. And that's a high ball, fly ball out to the left fielder who takes the catch. That's the ball game. That's the ball game, Manly win. So we've got a bit of work to do here with the field and whatnot. So yeah, we'll be tarping we'll up. Sign so off. We'll sign off. We'll tarp, see you tarp you up, court. Yeah, we'll tarp up. You tarp up. <laughs> 